Hello, everybody. Dr. Duck Vong here, world famous bariatric surgeon, author of 13 books. My kid, my four year old, drew this for you on the backdrop there. How are you guys doing? So we got a great cooking show for you tonight. Food 2.5 with Sandy Rask. Uh, Camille Popcorn from Bonjour from France. Look at that. Croatia's in the house. Hot damn. Um, so we are going to do some amazing recipes. We're going to do some awesome stuff with uh, Brussels sprouts. But a lot of you guys have requested eggplant. So we have an amazing eggplant recipe that's going to involve some uh, tofu ricotta cheese. So it's not really ricotta, but it's uh, tofu. Or as my girl would say, ricotta, ricotta cheese. All right. John Clark's watching. Carla Bradley's watching. Karen Scarpa, what's up? Ying Yang's in the house. Eileen Fry, Darling Cervic. Who is ready for some Brussels sprouts? What's up, Eileen? Who is ready for some eggplant? I know you've been waiting for eggplant. We eat a lot of eggplant in the Asian culture. Am I right, Ying Yang? So do me a favor. Hit share. Not your friend share. Not Sunny and share. Although, you know, Sunny is no good without share, quite honestly. What's up? Rosemary, Michelle, while we're waiting, if you're watching this on the replay, you can fast forward to the five minute mark. Now we have a super special announcement tonight. So stay tuned. We're going to make a special announcement. You don't want to miss out on this. this if you want to take your cooking up to a next level, we have a special thing in the works for you guys. You don't want to miss out this offer on this offer. All right. We have a special offer for you guys um, here towards the end. Can't sign up for it now. But you're going to want it. It's amazing. Kathleen, this is going to be money well spent. Tammy, Virginia, Sharon Kiefer, what's up? Janji, Rubinia, holy crapola, you guys are coming in too fast. Joan Mueller, Charles Ray, there's Joan. Joe, Bobby Bear, sorry. What's up, Virginia? Kelly Carver, hit share for me. And let's get rocking and rolling. We're almost, oh, two more minutes. We're almost to the five minute mark. Um, and, uh, so special announcement, we got a special offer cooking for you guys. Um, it's going to be amazing. Um, coronavirus is freaking a disaster. We set a new one day record, 145,000 cases in America alone, uh, more hospitalizations, current, more people in the hospital right now due to COVID than ever, 65,000 people, one out of 1600 people from South Dakota. If you live in South Dakota, one in 1,600 people are currently hospitalized with COVID. Not, not test positive, hospitalized with COVID. Ridiculous. Let's get our shit together, yo. With that note, man, let's talk about some good cooking. We got some uh, Brussels sprouts. Hey, hey, put a one in the comment section. One, if you love Brussels sprouts. Two, if you love eggplant. And three, if you love both. Because one plus two is three. One for Brussels sprouts, two for eggplant, three for both. Come on. All right. Lock us down now. That's what I'm talking about. I know Jesus will not help you, man. That is crazy. We got twos, threes, twos, ones. Eileen is a three. Aaron, one, three. Rochelle. Oh, my gosh. I got a bunch. Three, three. Oh, good. Look at that. We got a lot of people. Uh oh, we got some people who don't like eggplant. All right. All right, some people don't like, oh, I haven't had either. Hold on, I got to scroll back to you. Oh, gosh, Joe Mueller, never had either. All right, let's see how this goes. Okay, with that, now that we have an idea that you guys are screwed up, all I want to like. <laughs> she said, I want to like Brussels sprouts, but it's hard. <laughs> I love it. All right. Okay, I want to bring on my really good friend, Miss Sandy Resk, who is the founder of Food 2.5. We have an amazing offer for you tonight, but we're going to do some amazing cooking before that. She has taught over 300 people how to get twice the flavor for half the calories. And Dr. V likes to say half the work. Give it up for my good friend, Sandy Ray. <laughs> What's going on, girl? How are you? How are you doing, Dr. V? It's so good to be on your show with you. Man, what what's you got like new camera equipment or something? What are, what are you doing there? Oh, fam, baby. Well, you know, we had kind of a little bit of a debacle last Thursday on your show. Yeah. Uh, we had we have going at lightning speed. Got through two dishes. Got to the third one, and I knocked the computer completely uh. off the counter. 
like, I can't blame it on alcohol. Right. I just didn't have a professional setup. So now, no. I, now I have Miss Rosie, who um, I, there's pictures of it on my um, on my Facebook page. Nice. John, Christina. Yeah. yeah. So I've I've been using um, Rosie all week now. It's like a um, a virtual set assistant on wheels. I, I love her. She's my new be new best friend. All right. So. Well your only friend maybe only friend no i'm kidding oh, that's oh, my God. oh no that's terrible hey tell right. us the preview what are we making tonight Ooh, all right so we're still in um our thanksgiving options so um to me brussels sprouts always show up on my thanksgiving menu my um my family loves them ever since i roasted them the first time so to joan mueller i think it was who wasn't sure whether she'd ever had um had had brussels sprouts before Throw them in the she, oven. She says she wants to like them. She's oh, okay. really to like them. I got my kids to like them by cranking the oven up to 425, um, cutting them in half, rolling them in a little bit of um, olive oil and sea salt, and roasting them until they're crispy. Um, and I started them with dipping in ranch dressing, which I know you're going to go, oh, my God, Sandy, how do you do food 2.5 ranch dressing? You don't. Um, <laughs> So I just kept actually taking the ranch dressing and putting more and more water in it till a point where they didn't really like dipping it anymore. And they started eating the vegetables on their own. So, um, so do, do whatever you need to do. <laughs> so we're going to get some awesome Brussels, Brussels sprout recipe and yeah. also eggplant, huh? Eggplant. Yes. So I have a, I have a beautiful Armenian restaurant down the street from me that I've been going to for almost 40 years. And, and my family has too. And we, we just love this place. And they do these um, eggplant roll-ups with uh, ricotta cheese on the inside of them. And then they do a walnut paste on the inside. Um, today, I made, I know, I made the ricotta cheese with tofu just because we can and I actually liked it. And I put ground lamb on the inside and I made lula kebabs for the inside of these. So this is Ground uh, lamb. But if you want to keep it vegetarian or vegan, you don't have to do the ground lamb, right? I'll put the um I'll put the, the walnut version up there because literally it's just oh. food processor, grind up your walnuts and, and put the same spices in that I put into the lamb. So you got a lot of people who are not liking Brussels sprouts. So can you give us a guarantee? Can you give us a food two point five guarantee? Are they gonna love this? Food two point five guarantee. Um I've got tonight what I'm gonna do is a really fun dish. Um so uh, the, the guarantee is that if you try it, I actually really think you're going to like it because I'm going to serve it with a, um, with a pumpkin hummus. Um, mm. So you aren't going to taste the, the Brussels sprouts very much. They're just going to be a great, nice vehicle that's um, going to be healthy for you underneath that hummus. My, my, my friend Paula Rudd from Australia says, I, I got turned off because as a kid, they were cooked to a hideous mush. Oh, that's I, a, that's I, a shame, huh? I was the same kid. I mean, my generation. So I'm 55 years old. You know, I uh, my mother's got great skills. She's a classically trained concert pianist, but she doesn't have great skill in the kitchen. And her generation was all frozen vegetables mm -hmm. and they didn't have microwaves. So they take frozen vegetables and they defrost them in a pot of boiling water. Like it was hideous. And I actually really think, let me pull one. I actually think they're breeding them differently or they've, you know, they've changed the, um, you know, the, the um, leaves or the, you know, the, the growth of them because they don't taste as vile as they did as a kid. Like they don't have that. I think that taste buds have just matured. They're not vile. Okay. All right. Well, maybe they just matured, <laughs> but I actually think they, I think this, this is a slightly different breed of, of um, Brussels sprout. The other thing is a lot of times now you can buy the Brussels sprouts. I don't know if you guys have Trader Joe's in your area, but you can buy the uh, Brussels sprouts still on the stock. And if you can do that, definitely buy them that way. Because um, if you follow me at all, you know, the longer you can keep it attached to its plant, the more nutrients you're going to have it when you eat it. Um, so I, I always try to buy them on the stock if I have them. But, you know, anyways, let's let's do some great dishes. I've got. Hold on. I need, I need to set this up right. Andy, okay. why do people pay attention to you? What the how do we know you know what the heck you're talking about? Well, I don't know. 
I, 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 I should have a better that answer. A, that that should was not. a terrible sales pitch. I'm trying to completely answer. delete that um, part. They should know. I know what I'm talking you about. Taught, because I always give taught, my students. You taught 300 people how to cook. Okay, well, that's part of it. But the other is I always give my students. part of it. I'm, I'm completely transparent. Like if I tell you I went to the FDA, I show you how to go to the FDA and, and verify what I'm saying. So there's... Um, there's, there's no hidden agenda here. I give away all my sources. I give away all my favorite products. I give away where I shop for them at the best prices. Like I, <laughs> you, you trust me because I, because I don't lie. But on a serious note, you, you trained yeah. uh, 300 people how to cook and well, I'm, you, I'm, you I have to train, yeah, I, it wasn't just home cooking. This was 300 caregivers who were working with senior clients who are on specialized diets from their doctors. That's like, important. So, this was, yeah, I got a lot of business from doctors by, by going in and talking to them about my philosophy and what I teach, um, teach clients to do. I'm not a dietitian. I'm not a chef. I just know how to get great flavor out of food and follow the rules. That's right. I love that. All right. So what are we making first? Okay. First, what I'm going to do is I need to, I need to roast the eggplant first um, so that I, I can get that into the oven. Let's get, let's get going. What I'm going to do and this is like I do everything. I leave the skin predominantly on. I think I think skin offers a lot of um, nutrients and a lot of body to things. So all I did was cut the top and the bottom. So now I've got a um, a straight um, a straight edge to set this on, and I'm going to cut these into um, into strips. I'll show you. And just well, unfortunately at this angle here. Let's turn this way. Now that's um, that's a regular eggplant that you would find, although there are different variations of eggplants, right? But this is a nice big one. Um, you can use this. You can use a Japanese style. I'll show you exactly what we're going to do. She said nice on. big one. <laughs> she said this is a nice big one, y'all. <laughs> Seriously? Seriously? You kill me. You kill me. All right. I have a sharp knife in my hand, and I have to watch what I'm doing. Okay. So I'm cutting more. We're going to just cut a number of these. So I'll tell you what I ended up doing because this takes so long to cook is I've actually made this dish already today once and this is the second time. <laughs> so I know exactly how to do this. All right, let's do one more so I can get the nice middle size and I'll, and I'll figure out something to do with those ends later. But we're going to, oops, I washed these and did not take that, did not take that off. All right, cutting the edges off. So you can see, I cut it about, about yay thick. And what this is going to do is it's going to go in the oven, and it's going to go about 12 minutes on each side and just roast down beautifully. And what we want to do is soften it so that, um, so that we can roll it um, with, with lamb and with um, our fake ricotta cheese. So let's put this in here. And we're going to drizzle it with just a little bit of um, olive oil. Now, for, for people who are scared or have never worked with an eggplant, it's not really frightening, right? Like, I know sometimes it can be a pretty big eggplant. I mean, yeah. it's pretty. I can see where it gets scary. But truthfully, the way I, the way I cook this is the same every single time. Um, I always start with roasting it because I actually think – that eggplant texture, it's a nice spongy texture. When you roast it, it pulls a lot of the moisture out. Did you, are you really gonna make fun of me for what I'm saying? No. <laughs> <laughs> but I think, um, I think it's a perfect vehicle for other flavors, garlic and mint and mm -hmm. pomegranate, and, you know, you name it. It's a, it's a, good, um, it's a good one. The, the golden rule in the oven is um, the smaller the, the um, cut, the faster it will roast. That's right. So these take a while. So I gotta, I gotta get these in. And all you're doing so is you're gonna drizzle it with olive oil. I'm just gonna drizzle it with olive oil, and I'm using just a nice, you know, um, cold pressed from uh, from California, and it's um, and I get it at Whole Foods. All right, so I'm just gonna put a little of that on, and we're gonna take salt. Oh goodness. This is been going too long. I try to get the um, try to get the timing right on the uh, on the stove. All right, so we're gonna put this into the oven, okay? And I'm gonna 
I'm going to set the timer because I'm terrible at this. And when that beeps, we're going to turn it over. What's okay. the timer? The timer is um, the it's roasting the eggplant. So we're going to do one side and then we'll flip it over and we'll do the other side. So is it okay. 350, 350 degrees? 350 degrees. And is exactly. it like 10 minutes a side or what, how long? But it's about 12 minutes a side. 12 minutes a side. Look at me. Look at me. Oh, look at Dr. V. All right, next step. Good. So this is going to take a bunch of the moisture out of that. It's going to soften the flesh, and then we're going to be able to roll it up just beautifully. Okay? All right, so let's clean the board here a bit, and let's talk about, um, let's talk about Brussels sprouts, because that's kind of the next step. Um, the next step is, let's get, um, let's get some heat here. So we're oh, going to do... Are you ready? Yeah, yeah. Let's see it. We're gonna do um, tic tac toe for uh, for Brussels sprouts. Um, my family on Thanksgiving, especially now that we're all adults, likes to play games, and every once in a while I like to throw a little food game in. So, um, and there's only gonna be four of us this year. This is interesting. Okay. Right. So, yeah. um, so most of my food is gonna be small plates coming out all day long. We're gonna do very little sit down, sit down Thanksgiving dinner, okay? So what I'm gonna do is I've gotta make X's and O's for my tic-tac-toe. So I'm gonna make X's on the um, grill pan and I'm gonna make O's in the saute pan, okay? Hmm. Ah, all hmm. right. What I did. Uh-oh, this sounds fancy. Exactly, all I did and I bought them this way. I bought them, not only did I not buy them on the branch like I just told you guys to do it, but I bought them cut in half, okay? So, <laughs> so I totally took a shortcut here. This is a perfectly reasonable shortcut if you're doing a big Thanksgiving dinner, all right? This is um, grill pan. Um, it's a Luke Crusade. It's, if you follow me at all, you know this pan, pan comes out about every other day. So I, um, I'm going to put this down, and what we're going to do is we're going to cook it flat side down, and then um, halfway through, we're going to turn it 90 degrees, and we're going to get cross hatches, and hopefully, we'll get some. That, uh, oh, this is a lot like making grill marks on steaks. Exactly, that's exactly what it is. Uh -huh. You can do steak, but I kind of like the um, the Brussels sprout idea. So, just to remind people, what are on what's on your Brussels sprouts right now? Nothing, olive oil, or anything at all. All I did was put um, olive oil on the grill pan so it won't stick. Wow. Okay. And when it comes off and they're hot, I'll put salt on them. That's okay. it. That's it. Naked Brussels sprouts with a little bit of salt. They, what, exactly. Nothing easier than this. This is like, right? I mean, I think Thanksgiving, you have to have some go tos that are like no big deal, you know? Mm -hmm. Big flavor, small amount of work. All right. So that's that one. Now, in this one, I've got a little bit of EBOO. Little olive oil. I've let it go a little long. It's it's smoking hot. So I'm gonna just put these in, and I'm gonna I'm gonna get the um, get this going. So that on the downside, I'm gonna get these all flipped to the flat side down. Because what I want them to do is caramelize. So you see the. I think your recipes are smoking hot. Oh, <gasps> thank you. <laughs> Dr. Me, I think you're smoking hot. That's, a, <laughs> that's awesome. So yeah, so we're gonna hopefully and those will be your O's. Because they'll be all sorry, X's sorry. and O's. Okay? All then right. let me show you what I made. Put this up here. Can you see that? Look at that color. So this is this is pumpkin hummus. I was, I was gonna say that's, that looks some sort of hummus. And I, I would have made this on the show, but I had three different things that had to get made in the food processor. So I was like, had, had to get that done. So food processor and blender. I know you all have them because you're doing your green smoothies. This is, um, this is canned pumpkin, not the sweet stuff that you put into um, pumpkin pie, but just basic organic um, pumpkin. Let me just, I kept it, yeah. Okay. So 100% organic pumpkin, nothing else in it, okay? Then the, the only trick that I do with hummus is... Hey, you know what, Sandy? I have a viewer that I'd like to call out, Norma Stowell. Stowell <laughs> so won't eat any of that later, Dr. V. Really? 
Okay. I don't know who that is. I mean, it's a faceless person. I guess she's just a fan follower. I don't know her personally. But, you What's know, I, you know, it's, no. weird. it's weird you come on to a show about healthy cooking and losing weight and weight loss surgery and stuff like that. And it's like, nah, I'm not going to eat it. I'll see you later. Okay, well, you'll get the results. That's You'll get what you do. Let's but, um, the consequences. Right? It's free. I, it's free information. Exactly. And I, I'm just on you, man. Get on you, Norma. Good luck with that, Norma. Exactly. I'm just not going to get hurt by anything because you know what? The palate is what the palate is. Um, and and I think some of this you have to train to, you know, to want some of, you know, some of these vegetables. But it's okay. If she doesn't want any of them, it's, it's, it's just get off my back. But there are plenty of you that love your Brussels sprouts. I can tell because I saw a ton of threes up there. So you love your eggplant and you love your um, your Brussels sprouts. All right. So the dip, we're going to use the, the dip. And I chose um, hummus on purpose. Hey, you're so nice. I would just <laughs> get the, get the F, just get, get, get going. And you got these viewers who are all like, you know, these are good. And you are, you know, try new things. And, and you know, and some of them are yeah. like, <laughs> Oh, Heather, you're so yeah. sweet. <laughs> I mean, we have a crazy tribe, and we're here to support you, Sandy, because, you know, you have put in so much work to do three dishes for us, and you actually prepped ahead of time. You have a done eggplant dish for us that you put ahead of time. It's fucking ridiculous. It pisses me off, and I know I was going to edit this down, and I'm going to make this nice, and this was going to yeah. be, like, part of your, like, advertising. Like, fuck that shit, man. Like, like, yeah, I know. She's... She is kind of Debbie Downer for us, but it's okay, right? Because we're all here. We're just gonna do um, do some great food, okay? Um, <laughs> okay, Audra. Mwah. Okay, you get it. <laughs> that is an awesome comeback line. I am so totally gonna steal that one. Thank you, Audra. This is not an airport. <laughs> okay, so I chose hummus because what I want to do is make this my tic tac toe board. So I have. so many times I'm not worried about the heat anymore. All right. And then let me get this and see how these are. Oh, our O's. Look at, let me just show you. Look at that O. Right, right? You're, you're missing it because you're cooking, but you're getting a lot of love on the screen. I, I always get love. You guys are the best. You guys are the best. Okay, so these are these are seriously almost done. So I'm going to flip my O's over just to get just to get the other side a little bit more done. And honestly, if you wanted to do these faster, you could um, wrap them in a wet paper towel, put them in your microwave, right? And uh, and steam them for, you know, two minutes before you put them on the grill. That's okay. actually a great saving tip you just did there. Two yeah. minutes in the microwave, you really start to soften and wilt them. And then you really, you don't miss out on, on much of the caramelization fit flavor after that, right? You really don't. And that wet paper towel works on anything. Mm -hmm. It steams it from the inside. So you don't even lose nutrients. Anything? <laughs> what did I say? Did I say something bad again? works on anything. I don't know. Oh, we, should have, we should have a contest to see if you can like wrap moist paper and microwave on anything and see if, okay, really? see if it works. You're killing me. Corn. I know it works on corn, uh, sweet potatoes, corn. Oh. Okay, see this? Yeah. yeah. Ooh. Oh, no. <laughs> okay. Is this when I admit that I wasn't a hundred percent sure this was gonna work? This was a hope and no, a dream. You're to, no, you're supposed to fake <laughs> it. Fake it. Of course you didn't more. I, hey, so, I, I have a question for you though. What what if like um when you're done, let's say you grilled it first and, and it's not done enough, can you then wrap it and then microwave it with a moisture backer with moisture? Yeah. Yeah, you could. You're going to lose a little of that, like, like you're not going to want to do that, but like if we, if we screwed it up, what I would tend to do is this. I'm going to put it on its backside and let it just keep going, right? So I just want to be clear. He's, you want him to keep going on his backside. Keep going. Really? <laughs> I'm, 
I didn't know that we were going to clean up these broadcasts, but I just like, I, I tried so hard. What can I do with you? <laughs> I think like this is like how I want my cooking channel to be like. All, uh, exactly, all right? it, it is entertaining, right? Uh, okay, yeah. So I'm gonna- <laughs> yeah, you know, come like, on. They're used to it. <laughs> exactly. No, I love it. I love it. Okay, here we go. We're salting everything. I'm getting my share. Oh my God, Dr. B, stop. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right? Okay. All right. Do you guys want to hear about how I made pumpkin hummus? Yes, we do. Something really interesting here. So I did half a can of pumpkin. Then I, I cheated and used a can of beans. Now, here's the thing hummus usually is made with chickpeas. And I find with chickpeas, I have to put a lot of olive oil in to get it to kind of like get to that consistency you want. And one time I didn't have chickpeas and all I had were white beans in the cupboard. So I made hummus with white beans. Guess what? I like the white beans better. Um, It's smoother and I use a it's smoother um, and I use a lot less olive oil. Okay, a lot less lubricant in this. Oh, hey, oh, hey, oh, 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 stop it with the lubricant talk. Okay, all right. So uh, it's been, uh, we should make this a drinking game. Every time there's some sort of right? like new window, you got to drink. She I've said, never, yeah. y'all drink. Y'all drink your water. I mean, your your water. Exactly. Dirty. All right, let's get yeah, but you said something that I agree with. I think the white beans are have a much creamier softer slightly sweeter consistency yep. than, than the black beans i think well do you think that's uh maybe why you liked it a little bit creamy and, and the i think the chickpeas are just dry and so i i end up putting a lot of lemon juice and a lot of olive oil and a lot of tahini trying to get it to the right consistency so um <laughs> thanks kelly <laughs> thanks christina um so i i tend to always now make it with uh, with white beans and i looked it up and when you, when you compare them side by side, chickpeas to white beans, they're basically the same. They're about 130 calories per serving. Uh, they have a- Maybe to interrupt you, Sandy, but my man, David Almaraz, I'm down to, I'm down to 208 pounds. <gasps> wow, tell me what that is. Good job, buddy. All right, okay, so I'm going to, um, let's just open this up and I'll show you. I'm just gonna turn the eggplant over. And I kind of squished them on here because I just wanted to go ahead and do all of them. I was getting impatient. But these are these are about halfway done. And if they don't get all the way done, then we'll um, we'll just fake it, and I'll show you the rest of this. Okay. All right. So back in the oven, these go. I I think I'm, we're stretching this out long enough that they'll be <laughs> they'll be done. I know. Yeah, I know, right? We're ready. <laughs> okay, yeah, we'll be fine. Okay, so they um, our our little um, X's and O's are done, right? Yeah. They've been salted. I um, I've got on my plate. I've got the um, hummus. So the hummus is pumpkin. It's um, white bean, uh, lemon juice, olive oil, just a little bit of olive oil to to get it to smooth out. Salt and pepper. And then I had to put flavors in there for Thanksgiving. So I put a little nutmeg in there and sage. So this is um, super, super simple in your food processor done in like, like five minutes, right? All right. So then. <laughs> real, quick, real quick, Sandy, what's the difference between a food processor and a blender? And do you really need both devices? I, I don't think you really need both. I think you need one good one of something. So, it used to be that blenders weren't as powerful as food processors and you needed the food processor to really have a, a sharp blade and cut through things. The blender companies have gotten smarter and, and there's good ones. Like a blender is not something I would cheap out on. Um, if you get a really good blender, um, then you won't need a food processor, honestly. Yeah. A multifunction one. That's really powerful. I think. Yeah. You yeah. Can really I have- choose, you can. I'm cheap and I have a cheap blender and I have a cheap food processor and I'm waiting for both of them to break. And then I'll go get my, you know, my good one. So we're gonna gonna play with my food a little bit. Okay. And this, I swear to you. you Really? That's what you're doing? (laughs) Anyone who's got kids or grandkids is gonna go, oh my God, I'm gonna get them to eat Brussels sprouts. We're gonna get them to give it a try. 
Seriously, my boys will come in. My boys are in their 20s, and they'll come in and they'll go, oh, my God, Mom, I can't believe you did that. And then they'll gobble everything down. And they'll fight to see the like you have to eat the Brussels sprouts or what? Yeah, <laughs> I think this is a great way to kind of play. But we just kind of like to play on Thanksgiving anyways. I'm just adding a little food fun into it. All right? So look at this. Look at I got a tic-tac-toe board. All right, and I've got one. I've got extra. <laughs> I've got extra hummus here. So every time this is destroyed, we start it again. You know, it's beautiful. So let me let me just get let me get a, a winning board going here. And you guys can see what the um, what the X's and O's look like. Look at how cute these are. These just came out really, really adorable. I, I'm really pleased with how with how well these came out. I'm going to question. I don't think they're going to be done enough. Can you, are you really convincing me that they're done enough? Really? Are you serious? I don't know. Hang on. Did you? And I, don't, and I don't lie. I'll tell you guys if it's not good. That was completely done. That was done to the point where there's crispy, um, there's crispy leaves on it. Like the, I was crunching through it. That's crazy. So literally like, like maybe, gosh, 20 minutes, 15 minutes on the. Yeah. Yeah, wow. exactly. You got a whole appetizer. Now and that's you, what I call fast food. Right. And you could, while you're cooking the Brussels sprouts, you could be making the, the hummus. I mean, that's the, that's the kind of efficiency I like. And I love having a bunch of dishes like this. There's other things you can put on this. Like I made this, um, and this it could have gone longer, but I was afraid I was going to, um, I was afraid I was going to burn it, but this is a, a pomegranate glaze and you can see it's thicker than the juice, but not quite oh, to, you know, to, the close to the camera. Cause that looks amazing. And how did you make that pomegranate juice? I took pomegranate juice, put it in a saucepan and boiled it and stood there and watched it because if you let it, <laughs> because if you don't and it goes too long, it turns into um, burnt uh, pomegranate candy and it's not good. Mm -hmm. And so I know, right? And then you worry about whether you're going to lose your your all clad pan. So, so when I make this, I stand there and I watch it. And this, you can see, this is thick. It's got a beautiful thickness to it. It could go even longer. And I may actually just put it back on and let it cook for a little while longer. But I would do something like this because I think pomegranates go with this kind of stuff really well. So I would just drizzle some of this over the top, right? And you could you could even put the pomegranate into your board and make it make your board prettier. Right, let's do that. Let's just put it right into the seams, so you can see how you're playing. <laughs> now I'm getting a feeling you just made that shit up just right there. Let's right put there, it right into it. the seams, like I know what I'm doing. That's awesome. look at that, right? <laughs> I, I am telling you, this is this is food fun. You know, I think. I think we all need a little levity this year at Thanksgiving. Um, I was actually, actually going to say the same thing because um, Thanksgiving is not going to be the same this year. It's and we not. Have to find ways to make it special for the kids. Maybe the grandparents aren't coming. Yeah. You know, maybe you can have a friend or neighbor next door come over if you quarantined. You know. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm playing with my bird this one. Yeah. <laughs> Look at that rising havoc really Brussels sprouts this way. Nicely done. Yeah, let me eat one more. I'm gonna I'm gonna show you guys the big ones are even cooked. Like look at this, look at this big one. Look at show that. Me, show me the big one, Sandy. Oh my god. Oh wow. my god. I can't I cannot win today. I cannot win. But look at this. Mm. Mm-hmm. Mm. It, even the big one's soft and crunchy. Mm-hmm. That is amazing. Seriously. Now, in truth, in truth, this is al dente, you know. So if you really want them soft, I would I would go with the two minutes in the microwave before you put them on. But this mm -hmm. this is perfect, and I could have left them on there a little longer. Yeah, you can do both sides. Okay. So, anyway, so that's that. All so right. If you wanted them to play the tic tac toe. Yeah. You would leave them all off. I'd put them in bowls. You know, I oh, put the X's wait, in one wait. bowl. You put X's in one bowl and O's in another bowl, and the kids yeah. get to play. They totally play, and then we put more hummus down, and we. we oh, no, every time they play, and pick up and eat, it takes away a little bit of the hummus, and then they. Yeah. yeah. And then you put more down. Like it's a. Oh, I just thought that was a super cute idea. I'm always looking for stuff like that because I don't have the little ones anymore, but I have college students, and 
And you know, they're worse. They're even <laughs> like more trouble. And they have cars and they can go wherever they want. Like we got to work hard. Right. We have around. Dr. V, who's like the most childish of them all. <laughs> I know, I know, right? All right, I so totally let's play it. I'd then. totally be winning. Like, I wouldn't let any little kids win. I know, right? This week, I would be like, I will smash you. Competitive tic tac toe. I mean, seriously, I going <laughs> to be slightly competitive. Bro, oh, and I'm shocked by that. Oh, really? I'm, I'm just shocked by that. Well, um, you, know, you know what's winning tonight? Tell me. Your, My food? Your recipes. They're Bam! winning. All right, so what are we? What are we in? We're now like a fifteen minutes, and you have a full appetizer. So that's that's all I'm going to do on Brussels sprouts. Um, I can do more Brussels sprouts, you know, down the line if people want more Brussels sprout recipes. But I kind of changed gears for tonight because I kept being told that you all wanted eggplant, and I came up with what I think is probably it's got to be in the top five dishes I've ever made. Um, and this one came together in a dream in my head. No way. Top yeah. all the delicious stuff, and this is a top five. All the delicious. This is this has got to be a top five. I mean, uh, we right. everyone paid I, top five dish right here. Let's do this. Okay. All right. So you've got the eggplant in the oven. So what we're trying to do is soften it so it'll roll, right? Then you've got to figure out what are you going to put in that roll. So the first thing is um, inside of a, and they call them rollatinis. Um, it's an Armenian dish. Um, they put ricotta cheese on the um, ricotta. On the inside of that um, that softened eggplant. That sounds awfully <laughs> Italian, rollatinis. That doesn't sound Armenian. Well, yeah, I know it sounds like an American version of an Armenian name. And you know me, complete and total respect. I like to tell you where things come from, but I don't tend to to make them exactly the way the Armenians would make them or any other culture. So I tell you the name out of respect, but I totally get that my version may be different than um, than what an Armenian might culturally be used to seeing. Um, so if it tastes good, I don't really care. You know, right. right? Okay. So while the, while the eggplant's being made, let me show you again in my food processor. You guys saw me do this. Um, I can't remember. I made this, um, I made this ricotta. Oh, when we did um, the corn. Yep. Last week. Yeah. So this is literally again, another five minutes in the, in the food process, food processor or the blender. This is a block of tofu. And then what you do is um, is you you wrap it in towels and put something heavy on it for about you know, for an hour or two if you have the time. Um, this is firm tofu, but what you want to do is squeeze out as much as much of the um, liquid as you can um, because that'll help your your tofu turn into cheese. Uh, so I did that today. Then I put it in the food processor and I added to it. Let's get the exact. I'll put these recipes up. But I added um, a couple cloves of garlic, um, this savory blend, just because it had most of the spices. Um, it's got in it thyme, lavender, and a few other things, um, some basil, some rosemary. So I used this, and it has a little salt, so I didn't add extra salt. Um, this actually is a really, really nice blend. Um, and then I added, we talked about this when we made it the last time too, the nutritional yeast. This is beautiful. Um, I didn't think I liked it. I tend to not put it. I know a lot of people put it on their popcorn. I didn't really care for that. But in this, holy cow, it makes it taste like ricotta. Like this is so good. Vegans love nutritional yeast. Don't even don't even get the vegans angry. <laughs> All respect. Um, then um, EVOO and salt and pepper. And that's it. And you've got what legitimately is cheese like. I mean, it's it's unbelievable that it tastes as good as it does, and it's literally just tofu. So you're getting a nice protein. Is it, is it even cheesier? I'm sorry, say that again. Now even cheesier. I oh, hate. No. oh my god, I think you're cheesier. I think you are. Um, so this is. <laughs> yeah. So oh this is going to go first layer down on your eggplant. So as soon as the eggplant's done, and we've got you know, just a couple more minutes on the eggplant. All right, so we've got that done. Then, last thing I made in my food processor today, and I'm sorry, I, I, I would have taken you all through all of this, but I just had to get it, had to kind of get it done. But I made a kale pesto to go into this. Um, so the kale takes the place of the basil. Hey, can we can we acknowledge Libby Warren real quick? She's a yes, viewer, and she says tofu ricotta is brilliant, one of my absolute favorites. So she's apparently made um, it and tried it. 
I love that. I am so, I'm so happy, Libby. Thank you so much. Um, you're going to love these. Now, I wouldn't necessarily on a weeknight cooking do all of these things in the food processor that I did, but I want to have this done for you guys. Um, what I'd be more likely to do on the weekend is do a big double or triple batch of all of this um, and then um, wrap them individually, um, put them in the freezer and take them out, you know, on a midweek. So what I did was um, I made a pesto. This is a, um, it's a vegan pesto, so there's no cheese in it. Um, this is kale and mint and parsley to kind of go along with our sort of our Armenian theme. Um, it's got olive oil in it. Again, it's got the nutritional yeast. It's got hemp seed and um, I'm missing, oh, pistachios. So it's got a lot of really good stuff and, and some garlic, of course. So my, my 14 year old daughter is allergic to pistachios. Can I leave those out? Use, nuts, use a different nut, not use a nut? Yeah. If you, if you leave it out, it won't be as rich. Um, you could use any nut you want. Um, and truly, if I were doing this the Armenian style, I'd put walnuts in this um, because the filling that that is usually in this um, eggplant rollatini is, um, is a walnut base. Like it's crushed up walnuts that have spices on them. So that's what I would, I would put walnuts in this. Hey, shout out to my girl, Heather Rochelle, who does a lot of volunteer work for uh, our challenge group. But um, uh, she says, ooh, mint, which is a good point because you don't really think about mint as going into a pesto. It's usually just wow. it's like basil. So, but you can do a lot of different things, right? And is Heather on point there? Is she Heather's totally on point. So to me, uh, a pesto is um, pureed greens with flavoring and olive oil to kind of pull the thing together. So I, and maybe nuts, maybe cheese, maybe, you know, all this other stuff that, you know, that you could put in there. But what I like to do is keep it really clean. I loved this. Um, I loved kale as the, as the base of this, because it made it so, I mean, it just gave it that, you know, that kale kind of earthiness. Let's stop talking, talking about her. Cause she just used a dirty word right here. Did you see that? That's just Did she really wait. Let me put my glasses on and see what she, I thought she would have. <laughs> that, that's exactly. Exactly. It's dirty. Right. Why don't you just type it. Like, why are you using like weird symbols? Like, you oh think you would know to use oh. the actual word? That's a no-no. Oh boy! All right. So then, the last thing that um, that I want to do is for the inside of this, um, I'll put up the the vegan recipe, which is um, crushed walnuts with this harissa spice, and you'll recognize this. This is the the one we've been using this week. I've just I was down to the end of it, so I wanted to use it up. Um, I have more of the of chopped up um, parsley and mint that we're going to put, and we're going to make a almost like a, a meatball or a meatloaf. And what it's called is um, a lula kebab. Um, and it is, um, this is what this one's going to be made with ground lamb, which is one of my favorites. So I'm sorry, anyone who's, who's offended by the lamb, please avert your eyes. No, no, you can leave out the lamb and keep it vegetarian, as we talked about at the beginning, or vegan or whatever. But for people who are interested in trying lamb, which is it's an American thing, like the Australians eat more lamb. They, they Australians eat lamb like we eat beef. The yeah. reason that it hasn't really caught on in America. So for yeah. people who are a little bit squeamish yeah. about yeah. lamb, what would you tell them? I would tell them use the meat or the non-meat that makes you happy. Um, this would be good with ground chicken in it. This I would be good. Them try the fucking lamb. What are you? <laughs> okay, we'll try the lamb. Then. I actually think you should try the lamb because I I think lamb is not only good, um, good tasting, but it's one of the cleanest meats out there. Um, and because they're butchered young. And that's why you're better than me. See, you're so calm. <laughs> and you're like, really one of the cleaner meats out there? It's, <laughs> it's, it's, no, it's very well... It's not like a big slaughter. Okay, go ahead. No, it's not like a big slaughter, and they haven't had trauma because they're young. Okay, let's just be straight up. <laughs> You're killing babies. <laughs> Lambs are young. Um, so this lamb actually came from New Zealand. I happen to think New Zealand puts the best lambs out. It's actually yeah. not, it's actually grown sheep. It's actually mud. Oh, okay. All right. So they've had some trauma. Um, so this is this is harissa paste. If you if you missed our last episode. This is um, this is a beautiful Moroccan spice that is put into um, a tomato paste with um, garlic and a, and a few other spices. 
I love this dry. I love this as a paste. Um, I'll put up options. If you can't get this, this is one of my favorite brands, this Kava. Um, but if you can't get this, then I'll, um, I'll put up a, a version that you can make yourself. It's super easy. Tomato paste and, and some spices. Um, all right. So in there, I put the herbs. I put the harissa. I put the lamb. I put one egg um, just to kind of hold the whole thing together. And then I'm missing something. What am I missing? Known as a binder. There you go. You're right. Um, and then I have dehydrated shallots. Um, I just think in ground meat, they're, they're sweet and crunchy and they um and they're really nice so i put a couple of tablespoons of that in there so then, my ground shallots <laughs> i buy them on amazon <laughs> i should have guessed that i would have won tic-tac-toe by now i know. <laughs> i i love you know i i buy ground onions and i've I bought them for years i love them in meatloaf and meatballs i think they're they're just a nice like you know, midweek kind of, you know, quick, quick fix. Um, but when I found the, the ground, the um, dehydrated shallots, I never went back to dehydrated onions. These are, <laughs> there's no way. All right, so I'm just using my hands. I'm gonna turn this into eight or nine different little like meatballs, okay? Um, and then we're going to, um, we're gonna roll them up in our, in uh, right into our eggplant. So that's I, I know you have this lamb dish, but if someone is already comfortable with like, let's say they have, they already have like a meatloaf recipe, could you just oh. use meatloaf and roll this? Oh God, yeah, you got yeah. a great call out. Um, here, let me grab a towel. Great um, call out. Great call oh. out. <laughs> that is a great I'm call out. Graphic. If you want a great meatball, call out, go Dr. V. Go to yeah, if you have a meatball or meatloaf. Where are my backup singers? Where are my backup singers? That's right. Hang on. I got to figure out why. Hold on, I just want to make sure I don't lose lose power here. Give me one second. And we were doing so good being all professional and high tech and I know, right? Now you forgot to plug in. Plug it in, plug it in. Uh hold on, hold on, don't go anywhere. Don't go anywhere. Oh. Let's see. Hold on. I think I'm going to have to take you guys down. Hold on. All right. Sorry. my I was running out of battery. Okay. Oh, man. Everyone still there? Still looks good. You're still here. I'm still here. Okay, good. All right. Well, here, let me just show you Rosie. Can you see, see the wheels? And I put her up on my counter. And it's really hard because I have this um, I have this computer that pops into being a, um, a tablet and every once in a while like the plug doesn't quite go into the um, you know into the you know uh, the tablet side of this. So that's all right. We're gonna just keep going, right? <laughs> okay, let me check the um, I'm gonna check the eggplant see if those are done. Oh, beautiful. Oh, these are, yeah, these are perfect. All right, so let me just show you. On YouTube says, remember Sherry Lewis with the little lamb? Do you remember her, the little lamb? Oh God. I love lamb chop. That was my childhood. A good lamb chop. Yeah, exactly. All right, so see these? They're, um. We're about to eat little lamb chop. Just... Exactly. So these are, the eggplants are nice and soft. Right, so you can see you just want them enough that you can um, you can roll this up. Okay, so Andy, do me a favor. What am I doing? Angle your camera down a little bit so it doesn't hit the light and you won't be so dark. Okay. How's that? Is that better? No, but. <laughs> okay, hang on one second. I got this. You're a real trooper. Give it up for Sandy. I mean, she's doing it by herself. No help. Oh my God. She prepped so what you uh, she two dishes, uh, three dishes, three cooks. So, Give it up. Come on. This is a lot oh of work. So uh, most of these days, I'm going to have, I'm going to have kitchen help. I'm going to be. <laughs> no, gonna you're, be you're doing amazing. Look, see, you're getting a lot of love. People are wanting you to keep going. You huh. are. I love I'm the love. Okay. love. That's all the love. Let's get this, so this last dish together, okay? Then I can show you what it looks like cooked. 
Cindy Fred Paul gave you love. Oh my gosh. I go. love all of you guys. Neil Castro is giving you love. Libby Warren is giving you love. Anna Rice is giving you love. You guys are the best. Jen on YouTube is like, you're amazing. <laughs> Joe Mueller. All right. Stuff so down to the all right. Okay. So what I've done, this is, I'm going to make the roll of teenies right in this. And I've taken my, um, my pesto and put a little bit of olive oil over the top of it. And I'm just going to use my hands and kind of just push this out to the sides, right? Because all we want is a nice layer underneath. Let me guess. Now you're going to play tic-tac-toe on that. Right? Right? No, no, no tic-tac-toe. Oh. I see. Oh, wait. Did I say a bad word? Let's try again. We said we weren't going to. I got seriously. Like, Damn it, Rosie. Damn it, Rosie. I'm, I'm kind of over her. She was a good friend for a very short amount of time. <laughs> okay. All right. So we've got we've got pesto now on the on the bottom side of this pan. Then what we want to do is take take the eggplant and we're going to put a little bit of the um, of the cheese. And again, sometimes it's just easier to use your hands to do some of this stuff. So you just, see, I just put a little bit on the inside. Can you right? lower your camera a little bit or will you like be mad at me if I ask for that? I don't right? Oh, there you go, that's perfect. Okay, oh, there we go, perfect. Okay, then I'm gonna take like a handful of this and turn it into almost like a, a, little, um, a little meatball, somewhere between a, a, meat, a meatball and a, and a meatloaf, right? <laughs> and roll it. Okay, look at how pretty that is. And then you just keep going until you've done all of your eggplants, right? Oh, let me do one more, I'll show you one more. And then I'm gonna show you guys the, the end result because I seriously am so proud of this dish, I can't stand it. Top five, baby. But Sandy, Top before you show them the final result. Yes. Super important given all the technical difficulties we've been having, we need to, kind of let them have an idea of what we've been working on. <gasps> yeah. A lot of the people that are watching or following me know that I do this monthly challenge. And I've been, like, it's been super successful. We've really helped a lot of people. But I know that one of the missing components is really, we do the mind part, the body, the spirit yeah. part, but then we, we really want to tie it into healthy eating. Yeah. So you and I, me and you. We... We're yeah. The product. We do. We we've it's worked it. Yet. It's not available yet. It's not available yet. But what we um, what we set up is a group where we can actually explore products that are available that are really good, recipes that are available, cooking techniques, how to eat so that it's easy and healthy and fun and fabulous food. Um, all with um, with the food 2.5 sort of blessing over the top of it. Yeah. Uh, so it's a it it's a really exciting um, new group that we were put together. So live cooking demos. Yep, live cooking demos, product demos, product demos, reviews. product reviews, yeah, testing. Exactly, and then we've got um, a whole new way to present recipes to you as well. Mm -hmm. So we have our 2.5 recipes, which is where we take any standard recipe and we give it a 2.5 makeover. Mm -hmm. uh, and we have our five by recipes now where you have one item that you want to make, but we give you five different versions of it. So you feel like you're having, um, you know, five different, uh, five different dishes. Mm -hmm. So, oh my God, Heather, that's so cool. So we're going to, we'll be having a lot of fun. Um, it's a, it's a concept that's been kind of working in the head for a while. So this is, this is cool. And you guys are hearing about it? For the holidays, holiday tips. Oh my God. Yeah how to get your family to get, eat healthy. Well, and I think, and, and unlike other groups, I think we'll let people have an opportunity to like, like post their own videos, their own recipes, totally. ask questions, get, yeah. get feedback. Yeah. I'm super excited. I really feel like this is a, like, ah, oh, like, like this is kind of, a layer of awesomeness. 
Well, and this is why I love I love working with you, honestly, is because um, <laughs> because I'm dirty and unprofessional. Well, okay, a little of that too. You know, you're a good a good yang to my yang, right? <laughs> but you're also like you feel you feel a huge spot that we don't. And I just think the the power of I, I think this this post COVID time period, um, the companies and the people that really are going to prosper are those that live with abundance um, and really believe that we're better together than mm -hmm. um, than kind of trying to kind of stake out our claim and take from others. Eileen wants to know where we're we going to talk about some bacon. We will be doing some baking, of course, because you can't ignore that. You just got to give it a 2.5 makeover, you know? Hey, I'm going to challenge you to something, and I know we haven't talked about this. And I Tell me. Never, but Tell what if? Yeah. I'm thinking off the top of my head. Don't hold me to this. Don't hold me to this. Oh, but I'm holding you to it. Special group challenge thing that we do. Yes. What if we brought on viewers? Oh. become guest cooks or even show us their dishes or have us like 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 critique their dishes or help to improve the dishes what do you, would y'all be interested in that put a yes in the comment section if you'd be interested in joining this group and then coming on live with us yeah letting us kind of talk you through a cooking demo or or a recipe you want to share or whatever the topic is put a yes in the comment section if that's you what, what do you I think love yeah, because I, we, never, I just can't literally have I told you that before? No, no, you don't even know about our free the fridge. Oh so, yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. You tell about free the fridge. Oh my god, free the fridge. We're gonna every Wednesday we're gonna open and we're gonna start with my fridge. It's like, okay, what do we have in here that we have to use up? You know, I, and we're gonna we make it different. We are not doing my fridge. I have a <laughs> yes, we are. Yes, we More are. than the four-year-old, I have a 28-year-old I'm dating. I'm <laughs> One of, the, I think truly one of the hardest things for people trying to lose weight is that they have family members that aren't all on board with them. Yes. So we're going to talk about all that. Yes. Yes. So many of the activities, many of the discussions I have with clients is how do you handle that? You know, um, so we have to free the fridge. We have to purge the pantry. We have to, you know, fill the freezer and really set ourselves up for success, despite what our families do or don't do. Mm -hmm. um, and I believe if you do the right thing and make the right example, they'll follow you. Mm -hmm. So it's, a, uh, you know, well, it's something we're, we're getting a lot of yeses. A lot of, oh, people that's cool. getting, um, we're not, we're just, we're just hinting at it We're we are working on the final product. We have a meeting tomorrow yep. maybe next week, but I just want to let the viewers know, you know, like it's, yes. it's, the, it's another layer of greatness that we're trying to deliver some, always, some new always stuff. trying to deliver. Yeah. So, and, yeah. Right. And, and they're used to this. So I'll just say it, it, you guys are going to get a special Dr. V tribe price. Oh yeah. Oh it's, yeah. Yeah. It's ridiculous. You <laughs> and I'm going to talk you and Doug into, into like, like it is a guaranteed flat rate. It will, what they will be grandfathered in if they get in when we yeah. launch this. Yeah. Like, the one price and it's going to be amazing. It's it's not going to be amazing. It is amazing. And we're just um, getting it ready. All and, right. So hey, hey, first of all, let me, let me tell people just so they'll know. Like we <laughs> don't, like Sandy doesn't get paid to do these cooking demos. We don't reimburse. Do get paid? No, they don't. No. Like that. Some <laughs> people think that. Like <laughs> your company doesn't pay. This is out of your pocket. This is yeah. You've been prepping all day. It's not <laughs> This is not like Rachel Ray, where she has oh, Rachel Ray makes billions of dollars. Like no, like no, and this is this is literally my dinner. This is the <laughs> <laughs> I, you can't hear it, but I have I have dogs and humans circling around, going, "Is it dinner time yet?" <laughs> but let me. Uh, Next Thursday, we're going to talk about um, healthy cooking to help you fight yeah. off, like boost your immune system for yeah. for the flu, for coronavirus. Yeah. For the kind of long haul we're in for. And that's when next week, next that's week, Thursday. March Brothers, we're going to have the opera. We'll open the opportunity for you to sign up Perfect. and, 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 uh, and get in on that demonstration. Yep. It's going to be amazing. Anyway, go ahead. Keep going. Awesome. I didn't want to burn your feet. All right. Um, with all of the um, technical difficulties that I have this evening, <laughs> I haven't done all of them, but I wanted to show you the ones that I have done. So we have the pesto underneath. We've got these beautiful rolls. Let me open it up so you can see you can see what it what it looked like. So all it is 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 the eggplant on the outside, and then that tofu cheese and the the little bit of ground lamb with the spices in it. 
This is, I, I'm telling you, when I say this is like in my top five dishes, I have I have one that's made already. Look at, we've already kind of peeled our way through a couple of them on this end because we wanted, <laughs> I wanted to make sure before I came on that they were good. These are, the, the meat has that harissa paste in it and it's so, like it's flavorful. If you've ever had a lula kebab, they're so they're so flavorful and that lamb is just a little bit fatty so it just has a nice like richness to it then you have that layer of that tofu ricotta so it's a clean it's not as heavy as if it had real cheese in it um and then the roasted eggplant just just melts into um into the rest of this um and the fresh herbs and all the kale in that pesto it's it is seriously one of my one of my all-time favorite dishes so so come back, Dr. V. I'm back. <laughs> People are asking about where can they find the recipe. So I just put the link to your Facebook page, right, for right now. Fantastic. Yep, it'll be on the Facebook page later tonight. As soon as I'm done eating, um, I'll get the um, I'll get the recipes up there. We always post them up there, and um, and soon enough, I think what I'm going to do, I've been toying with the idea of moving the recipes over to my website um, because they're a little hard to find when you try and scroll back through, you probably have found that with some yeah, of your book has limitations. It's good. Yeah. It has, it has limitations. I it's, love Facebook, but yeah, so I'm going to, I'm going to do that, but I'm, I'm super excited, super excited to have this new group. And, um, and I hope that you both, you will try both of these recipes. Did you taste the rollatini? Did I miss it? Oh, you did not. You did not miss it. I have not tasted it. Here, let me just take one of these. Look at these. Look at this. Okay. I'm just going to take a bite off of it. It's so big. <laughs> I made her gag. <laughs> yeah, Look at the inside of that. That is. Um, <laughs> I'm seriously without her. <laughs> you no, know, no. like I, if if you like cabbage, could you do some cabbage leaves and even roll some cabbage leaves around the eggplant, and make another layer of like deliciousness? You probably could. I, mm -hmm. I kind of like the texture of this, but mm -hmm. I, I don't see why not. If you wanted to put put some cabbage on the outside of that and make make rolls with it, don't don't laugh at me. But I'm a big like kind of a cab, stuffed cabbage roll sort of guy. Mm -hmm. So like, would tomato sauce go good over that, or yeah, it it would. You know, I um, I I don't eat much in the way of tomatoes. They really um, my face goes bright red when I when I eat tomatoes too much. So. Uh, <laughs> I'm sure that it would be good. I tend to always, always rework the, the tomato sauce. Please. You know what? Lolo says we need smell vision We're actually going to have that in the group that we're setting up next week. Yeah. I know. I wish. I wish I could say, I'm like, really? How are you getting no, that? I'm, I'm totally lying. I'm totally lying. I know. He really is, Pearl. You're right. Sharon, thanks so much. Yeah. All right. So, I so guess that, that, that was is it looked delicious. It looked amazing. Oh, it was perfect. It was perfect. I'll post the recipes. You guys, as always, make it make it your own. Change the spices up to what you like. If you want to put cabbage on it, put cabbage on it. Tell me what you did with it though, and send me pictures because I would I would just love to see what everyone's doing with uh, with the food. You know, that's another actually a good one for the group where we go. Um, hey, here's the recipe. Like, let's say the tofu ricotta cheese. What did you yeah. do with it? And then post your pictures. I know. Pick winners and like give giveaways. I love winners. And or I include, include their recipe and maybe a future cookbook or something you might come out with. Right? right? You're always thinking, always thinking. <laughs> so right? that, that would be fun. I think that would be a blast. Um, maybe share a story, you know, like. I I I love that the journey that um that we end up taking with um with love it. I think it's so much fun. Yeah, is is really oh you're so you guys are so welcome. Um, but I love the journey of of relearning how to love food. You know, because I think um I I think for a lot of people when you start to put on weight, you become um fearful and maybe anxious. Look at this. Our viewers are the fucking best. Woo! The Brussels review. We could have a whole section where people do reviews on our recipes and right there and what was their experience, Paula. That's brilliant. I love that. Yeah, I love that. 
tweak the recipe. It would be such an interactive sort of challenge, right? Well, like that's the that's the whole key is it's gotta be interactive. But I wanna make it a challenge. So <laughs> so you're not belonging to a group. Like we're gonna fucking kick you out or do something if you don't if you don't uh, pull you your weight. Don't you think? Yeah, I, th I think it's a, you know, I think it's a, a great way to think about it. I don't know. We should think about that. We'll okay. talk. About, we'll talk. About All right. It. Cool. You know. All yeah. right. Man, we've gone an hour and five minutes. Any last uh -huh. parting uh, words of wisdom, Miss Sandy Rask? Um, I would say um, do any piece of this dish. There are many ways you can do it in short shortcut. Um, uh, you can buy pesto and make this, you can put tomato sauce down underneath it. There are many ways to make this faster than what I did tonight. But if you, um, but if you get the chance, um, you know, give it, give it a shot because if you've got a decent food processor or, um, or blender, and I know you all do cause you do your green smoothies, um, you know, give, give this one a, this, give this one a try because for me, this is, this is pretty, pretty top food. And this, it's kind of cool because it came out of a dream. <laughs> <laughs> so did tic-tac-toe by the way i dream about food isn't that weird dream about food. that's pretty that's pretty fun <laughs> that's pretty good amazing well I think you ask as always your dishes look amazing and i'm i'm sure Thank they're you. amazing and i can't wait to start this new uh adventure with you and because that's all i need is something else to do on my plate that's right you need you need one more thing and if you and if you have it and most of your people have already but if you haven't come like me come follow yeah. me um i do um, um, we'll, we'll do we'll open the uh sign up to uh food 2.5 right there at that facebook.com exactly. next week for the uh um, for the i don't know we don't have a name for it maybe we should do a contest for <laughs> the food 2.5 food challenge no it's not really a challenge it's more like Think Tank? Mm. Oh, mm. oh, very cool. Mm. Oh, 3.5 growth challenge. Mm. Think Tank? I, can't <laughs> think so. I don't know. What do you think? I I think we have I think we have some ideas. I think we should chat about them. And I think that um, mm. if we don't come to conclusion, we'll we'll put it to the people and they can decide. We should let the viewers decide. That's awesome. All right. All right. Nice. Thank you very much. Give it up for Miss Sandy Rask, everybody. Dude, how amazing was that? Hey, listen, tonight, I know it was an hour, it was a long broadcast, but thank you so much for watching. But also, really, seriously, thank you um, to Sandy, all the viewers, how many dishes she did, how many different techniques. You can. You don't have to make the dishes exactly the way she made it. You can alter it, change it. You can use it on different things. I want to tell you that pesto she did with the um, with the uh, mint in it. Uh, I would put that on uh, some fish. Be delicious. A nice fresh salad underneath the fish. It would be amazing, amazing, amazing. That um, it would actually go, you know, on top of the, the the lamb. If you're not a big fan of eggplant, you can just do the lamb meatballs and serve it either in a pita bread or or on a nice salad. It would be amazing. Or lettuce wrap. Oh gosh, that would be nice with lettuce wrap, some uh, cucumber, uh, red onion, and. Uh, some uh tomato oh it's almost like a lamb falafel sort of thing that would that would be amazing so i'm super excited thank you guys so much for watching we're going to do um a show every thursday through the holidays so ev just mark your mark your calendar every thursday um until new year's we're going to do a cooking demo for you and next week we are going to uh unveil 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 our, the project that we've been working on, this really awesome idea of this this food food challenge concept. It's so much more, so much more than what the fuck you're getting with Weight Watchers or any of these other BS things. We we really wanted to make it a cooking interactive. Ooh, Sandy, I got it. Cooking interactive. Mmm, cooking extreme. Two X. Who's excited? It's gonna be awesome. We'll bring you on camera. We're gonna do a pantry clean out. We're gonna walk you through the pantries. We're gonna walk you through the fridge. We're gonna set up recipes. 
We'll have meal plans. We'll bring you on camera with us. We'll do live cooking demos with you, guests. You know, you just come on. We'll do uh, recipe reviews. It's going to be great. I'm super excited, super stoked. Now you guys know what Dr. V's been up to. All right, love you guys. See you next Thursday. Mark your calendars, same time. Don't miss it. Love you much. Big props to Miss Sandy for doing this. Thank you guys. Bye.